when I, when I say that my next guest is in his 20s and has a podcast, you might say, big deal. What if I told you he has incredibly powerful and exciting guests on his podcast? And for the past year, Landon Campbell has shared the best advice for 20-somethings. His podcast is called In Their 20s, where he interviews influential people to talk about their 20s. And he's had billionaire founders of Twitter, Blogger, and medium, I think, Evan Williams, um, member of the House of Representatives and presidential candidate, Beto O'Rourke. So welcome to the show, Landon Campbell. Thank you so much, Julian. What a strong intro. I really appreciate that. Glad to be here. Why did you launch this podcast? What we've noticed from all these successful people just in the world, from stories that we'd hear about and read about, um, it wasn't always a uh, yellow brick road. You know, there was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of failure, um, in order to become successful, you know, you really need to undergo um, a lot of failure and focus. Um, so we want to share those stories uh, just to kind of provide some comfort to people in their 20s, but then also provide the best advice to people in their 20s. So, you know, Michael and I, yeah, we could talk about our journey all we wanted to. But um, what we really thought would be a great idea and premise of the show is to interview the most powerful people in the world and talk about their 20s. Definitely. So, um and you must have also been looking at this from a marketing standpoint where you are actually building relationships with influential people. 100%. Um, you know, I'm fortunate to have spoken and speak with um, some great people on my show. Um, and I'll announce this here um, today. And this isn't public news yet, but um, it's okay for me to share it. I'm going to be interviewing, you know, Steve Wozniak, uh, co-founder of Apple soon. Um, and this is only a year into the show. You know, we've interviewed restaurateurs, poets, wow. marketers, uh, Beto O'Rourke, you mentioned, Tim Hardaway Sr., if there are any basketball NBA fans listening, Ev Williams. So, you know, we've interviewed so many powerful people. I also want to look at the flip side and mention that a lot of companies and founders and entrepreneurs will join my podcast because they recognize the audience. Um, you know, I have a strong community and network of 20-somethings that tune in every single week to absorb our content. So to a lot of business owners, um, that's a strong benefit. Um, so I think podcasting is a wonderful way um, to market because you're connecting with audiences that care about what you're saying. And there aren't many mediums where you have 30 minutes to an hour of an audience's undivided attention in a world where there are so many distractions. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's just a great opportunity. And also, I mean, if you are out there thinking of doing your own podcast, one other thing that you, you need to be aware of is that you're having a conversation with somebody who is potentially um, somebody that might be interested in your business. So if you're in a in a type of business where you need to be having relationships to get customers, having a podcast, you can actually invite your prospects onto your podcast, have an hour with them, and do you think that they might actually know, like, and trust you a little bit more after that? 100%. Yep. Tell me how you got the was. Yeah. So, you know, we started small. Um, we started with people that we knew, people that we were inspired by. So this was literally professors um, that we had while Michael and I were in college. Um, and I just also want to share with your uh, listeners as well. My um, co-host and best friend, Michael, did pass away in April um, on the 20th from a battle with brain cancer. So I'm just really focused on keeping this show going to honor his memory and preserve his legacy, continuing to get big name guests, heavy hitters, um, continuing to build our audience um, for my friend who I built this podcast with. Um, but yeah, you know, we started small. Um, we started with people we knew, people that we were inspired by. Um, and with every person that we've had on, um, a lot of people have connected um, their own, you know, people within their networks to what we do because they'd say, okay, look, one of, one of my friends would be perfect, perfect guests on this show. Um, and it kind of just keeps building and building from there. Um, so the bigger names that we get on, you know, the bigger access to more people and more guests that we have on. Um, but, you know, yeah, we've had some great people and we'll continue to have great people on. But I do have to mention that there's been a lot of rejection. A lot of people that have said no. A lot of people that said that they're not interested in coming on the show. Of course, less now because mm. people really understand, you know, what we do. Um, and now you can say, well, I've just interviewed The Was and I had Evan yeah. Williams <laughs> and uh, Julian Leahy from When It Worked. Yeah, 